When I tap you on the shoulder, please say your name for the folks at home. Matt. <laughs> Where are you from, Matt? Arizona. Oh, really? Which part of Arizona? Phoenix. Phoenix? I've been there. It gets hot there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have pot in Phoenix, Matt? <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. Wouldn't know. Wouldn't know. <laughs> what do you uh, What do you do there in uh, Phoenix, there, uh, Matt? Um, you know, go to school? Just, not really. <laughs> well, you finish school? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a clue. Throw me a bone here, Matt. How do you How do you fill your day? Um, sleep. <laughs> You're throwing your life down the tube, son. You keep on like this, you'll end up hosting a late night talk show. Do you have any interests, uh, like music, sports, uh, um, yoga? I like... You, you enjoy the videos and the internets and stuff? Yeah. What do you like on the internet? You like the YouTube? You like Charlie bit my finger? That's good, isn't it? No, no. No, no, I don't like, I don't like what, that. What, what, what part do you like, then, of the internet? Is it... Do you play Mi do you play Minecraft? Have you played Minecraft? Yeah, I play Minecraft. Yeah, see, I've got a kid. Okay. Yeah. You're probably too old for Yo Gabba Gabba though, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Are you shy? You're shy, aren't you? No, not well, kind of. <laughs> got a girlfriend? No. <laughs> Is that, is that your mom in the audience? Yeah. yeah. All right then. Here, 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 here. Okay. Do you got a girlfriend? No. 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 What's wrong? You can't tell me in front of your mom? No. Where you grow up here, Matt? For God's sake. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just, it's all right. You know, you got to stand up to her sometimes. It's, it's all right, man. It's all right. I'm with, I'll be with you all the way. Okay. Okay. So you turn around, I ask you a question, and you have a big outdoor voice, all right? Okay. All right. You got a girlfriend, Matt? No. <laughs> well, good news! Because we've decided to send you to the Ivy restaurant in uh, Los Angeles for free. And, uh, well, that, you know, we have to pay, but you don't. Oh. And you can take anybody you want with you, including your mom, if you want. Mm. Take your mom. I don't know what that restaurant is. <laughs> It's like, it's a really fantastic restaurant. I can't believe I'm having to sell you free food, Matt. It's a great restaurant. Really famous. All right, look. Just do me a favor. I'm going to go over there okay. and do something show businessy. You stay here and say, we'll be right back after these messages, all right? Okay. But wait until I give you the cue. Okay. All right. <laughs> Take your time. Maybe take your hands out of your pockets. This is a big moment. <laughs> hey, can I say that your hoodie looks like you've been pixelated? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Looks like you've, maybe you've got, like, rude things. He, he doesn't. His pair just looks a little pixelated. Yeah. It's like, you know, when it goes in front of my mouth when I say... <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay. All right. Don't, don't cuss. I did, but it was an accident. Nobody noticed. Okay. <laughs> All right, go. I'll be right back after these messages. Yeah! It's on stay up, it's been a long, long day. And you got the sad man at the door. But hang on, leave the TV on. And let's do it anyway. It's okay. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
<laughs> well, I thought it was a great day for America, and I looked up there, and there's one lady who's like, <sighs> my eyes always drawn to that one, that one, sitting sitting next to the guy that was here last night with a. Uh, <laughs> A great day for America, everybody. It is also Friday. Friday, of course, hooray! <laughs> Friday. Now, it's a, it, not only a great day for America, it's a great day for Britain. The uh, the UK, Britain, where Downton Abbey's from, dear. Oh, yes. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, it's so terribly good. The royal family is interviewing nannies, which is adorable. Applicants for the nanny job must be good at bottle feeding and cleaning up spittle. And once they're done with Prince Harry, they take care of the new baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There's a late yeah. night joke right yeah, there. Good. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I was going to do that and I thought, no, no, careful. So I did that instead. Uh, also in Britain, the London Underground is celebrating its 150th birthday. Over the past uh, century and a half, it's been ridden by an estimated 4 billion Englishmen. Oh, sorry, that's Madonna. But the. Uh, <laughs> it's a joke! It's a joke! It's not entirely factually correct. <laughs> Do you know that uh, in Brazil, the prostitutes are apparently learning uh, English in, to prepare for tourists during next year's World Cup? And I'm like, really? Does it take an entire year to learn right this way, Mr. Sheen? <laughs> Craig, how dare you? Charlie Sheen doesn't hang out with prostitutes. <laughs> 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 Do you know the big new movie that's out today I'm excited about is Gangster Squad. I'm looking forward to this. Do you get the poster for it? Yeah, there it is, yeah. <laughs> you know, if I go to the trouble of wearing these pants, you'd think they'd put my name on the poster, wouldn't you? Oh, is it there? Let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah, there I am. Last as usual. I wore these uh, pants because I'm the uh, fingerprint expert who can't play by the rules. <laughs> Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> the leader of uh, Gangster Squad is played by Josh Brolin. Now, I like Josh Brolin. I think he's a great actor. He's a real tough guy. He looks like he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with even the toughest adversary. See, that's what will happen if your stepmom is Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Do you know what? I feel like I'm in danger having just said that. I met Barbara Streisand actually once. She's lovely. No, oh, very, very pleasant. Very nice woman. Really? Yeah, no, uh, a bit intimidating though. Yeah, even more so now. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> anyway, also in the movie is Nick Nolte, who's not only a great actor, but also doesn't give a crap. I like that. Do you, this, is a, this photograph I'm about to show you, this is what Nick Nolte wore to gangsters, the Gangster Squad, squad to, the, the premiere, is what I'm saying. <laughs> he wore this, to, and this is a real photo. We didn't touch this up. Look, that's what he wore. <laughs> Nothing says, I don't give a rat's ass like wearing a yellow robe to your movie premiere. <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He's preparing for his upcoming role as Confused Grandpa. <laughs> or perhaps a cab. Um, <laughs> Gangster Squad was set, uh, is set in 1948 when LA was ruled by ru a ruthless gang that defended its turf with threats and deception. Sort of like the Kardashians, but with better style. And the people... <laughs> What the hell, man? What the hell? I just got some judgmental <laughs> up there ooing me every time I say anything. Ooh, Charlie Sheen doesn't go near prostitutes. Ooh, the Kardashians have got style. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. How dare you judge us? Yeah, how dare you? Don't you come here and judge us with your ooh and your other things that you might say from time to time? Such as, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, the movie's set in 1948 when people talked like this. Say, Mac, what's the big idea? And women were called dames, and those dames had gams, and those gams had cankles. So it'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> Say, Mac, those cankles make me think you're not really a dame. Well, my name is Mac. So, Mac, I... I... Kiss me. Sean Penn's in this movie. Now, Sean Penn's a villain who says crazy things and punches out the good guys. I'm not sure what he does in the movie, but he's, uh... <laughs> oh! Ooh! Hey! It's a joke, lighten up, Grandpa. Anyway, uh... 
Sean Penn plays the legendary gangster Mickey Cohen. Now, in the 40s, Mickey Cohen ran this town. Now it's run by Mickey Mouse and the Disney gang. <laughs> Disney's attack dogs are even more ruthless. They'll sick Goofy on your ass. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll cut a bit. <laughs> I know they didn't hear it. I'll say it again. Uh, uh. I'll cut a bitch. There, I said it there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> now, <laughs> before he came to L.A., this is true, Mickey Cohen was in a gang called the Chicago Outfit. I have a Chicago Outfit, little halter top, miniskirt, and a Cubs hat. But he... <laughs> That's a terrible joke, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was. In fact, if there was any joke to ooh, that would have been the that would have been the, yeah, what the that would have been the tie. Not the good one about the Kardashians, but the ooh about the Nah, too late now. Anyway, I love <laughs> I love the classic gangster nicknames. You know the names that scared people, Sammy the Bull, Gravano, or George Machine Gun Kelly, and then the not so scary gangster names like Pretty Boy Floyd and uh, Babyface Nelson and the uh, uh, Creamy Hands Lewis. Uh, <laughs> Then there was a uh, <laughs> man boobs McGee and <laughs> small fingers Chang. I knew him. <laughs> you knew small fingers Chang. Yeah, he used to hang out with small fingers. Yeah. Did you call him small fingers to his face? <laughs> yeah. Or to his fingers? <laughs> I think you know. <laughs> Makes sense. You just said something like that so it sounds a bit rude, so you don't have to say anything genuinely amusing. Pretty much like the rest of the Yes, show. exactly so. <laughs> Secretariat's still shrugging. He started shrugging last night, still shrugging. Look. <laughs> Are you going to go and see Gangster Squad? Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Can't wait. You're going to have to. You can't move more than 12 foot from an How outlet. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, how dare you, sir? Why how we, dare you, sir? Why don't we go together, man? We should go. Okay. I'll come over there. <laughs> Do you know what was good? I was standing here, and I started to move, and they actually cut from one shot to another yeah. shot. Did you see yeah. that? Watch. I started to move, and then... Bing! Look at that! Wow. wow. It's like a real TV show. Oh, Do the thing. Oh. You're watching The Late Late Show with Craig... Lazy Ass Ferguson and Jeff Penis Fingers Peterson. Good night, everybody. tonight is the host of The Talk, which airs every afternoon on CBS. Take a look at this. <laughs> you know they all hate each other, don't you? <laughs> that's, that's just play acting. <laughs> right, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like me and you. You know I hate him, right? Please welcome the adorable Julie Chan, everybody. Julie Chan. Okay. Julie Chan. You know, looking at that old photo of myself, um, I realized I look like one of the Bay City Rollers. No! From Scotland. No, yes. no, 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 you don't. The Bay City Rollers were adolescent boys with acne. That photograph of you, you look fantastic. You're like a kind of sexed up Pat Benatar is what you look like in that. <laughs> Except it was 20 years after that look was in. Well, it doesn't matter as long as you got to it in the end. That's what counts. <laughs> Thank you. And Thank you, you look great now. I mean, that's the main thing. I mean, really, actually, whoa. 
Thank you. No, I mean. Guys have it much easier because you can look at old photos and your hairstyles can't really get that crazy. Am I right? Well, I don't Unless know. Unless in the 70s. You know, well, it's not really like, about the hairstyle for me. Like, if I look at old photographs of me, there's either, like, there's one there and then one on the side or, there, you know, like, two photographs with my height in them. Oh, 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 oh. one looking... Oh, never mind. Yeah, monk shots. Like, okay, uh, yeah, one looking this way, one looking that way. You're right. Oh, and also... That I, is a problem. And also, I was really fat when I was younger. No, you weren't, were you? Yeah, 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 really super fat. How did you lose the weight? Uh, stopped drinking beer all day, every day. Well, there you go. <laughs> always, always a good thing were you to ever, stop. Were you ever tubby? Were you ever fat? Um, no, luckily, I've always been pretty, pretty healthy. Yeah? Yeah. It's in my genes. My parents are, like, 80, and they still look great. They look, really? like, barely 60, yeah, and they're, they're fit. Do you, do you have a very uh, kind of like strict fitness regime? Like, because, well, you know, you do that show every day. You're there, you guys are there all day, every day, right? I know. Now, now I do. You know, ever, yeah, now I do because um, I like to eat. Yeah, me too. And, you know, it's in my culture. And, and we, eat, we eat every Most day. Most cultures have things to eat. <laughs> it's not like, Somehow well, better. in my culture, we don't eat that much, really. Uh, <laughs> but we eat everything. Yeah. Being Chinese, we eat everything. Pretty much, actually. I mean, like, and some of the things are kind of... Yeah, no, like bird's nests and like, you know... Hey, don't knock that soup. Well, I'm just saying, it. like, who the hell had the idea? Uh, look, a bird nest. Eat it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's make we're, some soup out of that. <laughs> we're a poor country, okay? No. If it moves, we eat it. But we don't have haggis. Come on. Who well, that was a good idea. Well, haggis is a result result of what happens after you torture a sheep for a while. There's just the, like, <laughs> haggis is what's left. That's one thing I've never tried. Haggis? It's all right, actually. No, torturing a sheep. No, don't do that. No, no, no. sheep are beautiful animals. They're our friends, CBS cares. I, uh... <laughs> hey, you're going to New Orleans. We're going to New Orleans. You're going to be there. I'm going to be there. It's going to be nuts it's for the Super Bowl. It's going to be crazy. I've never been there. The talk is going there the whole week leading up to Super Bowl Sunday, doing live shows from Jackson Square. Yeah, which... no, we're going to be there, too. Yeah, I yeah, you're on the, during the day. Exactly. We'll be at night. You're observant like that. <laughs> Late night show. But it's going to be like a four ring circus because Jackson Square, there's going to be four stages. You're coming on the yeah, talk yeah. on Tuesday. We're yeah, yeah, I'm going to be on your show. That. That, that'll dip the ratings a bit. But other than that, you'll be fine. <laughs> now, I have you ever been there? To New Orleans? Yeah, 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 once. I've never been there. Clearly, Jeff has been there because he's always wearing the beads. Yeah, no, he's been there a lot. Yeah, he's, uh, he fl are you going to do that when you're there? Are you kidding me? Come on. If they saw me, they'd, if I had beads, they'd take them away. I mean, it's no, there's no, no, no. Um, there's a deficit there, but I, but you know. <laughs> Let's talk about your body image. What's going on with you? Well, here's the thing. You know, um, women, uh, most most women have um, issues with you know. There's something they don't like about their bodies, but we like to check each other out. But we don't like to get caught checking each other out because, you, you know... I don't like to get caught checking out women either. It gets me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, you see, unfortunately for you, I, I can check out other women without them knowing it. You're crazy. How can you do that? Oh, because, well, being that I'm... Asian and my eyes are smaller. Oh, don't! don't that's yeah, rubbish. You just, you just smile. No and way. And down and you're like you don't even know. I'm looking. No, at I don't buy that at all. Okay. That's how it goes. It's no, true. all right, I can do that. I'm not Asian. Look, I can go like this. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> What's up? I don't even need to do I go like this. <clears throat> I distract you. Oh, what's that over there? Mm. <laughs> no, that was a little obvious. Well, really? And the other one, you just looked like Stevie Wonder before. <laughs> it wasn't right. It wasn't right. No, I didn't. No, I didn't, Julie Chad. So you're go who have you got on your show then, except for me? Well, we are so excited that our house band for the week is going to be trained. Stop it! Yes. Wow, that's fantastic. I know, I know. So you get all the great stuff. And, well, I know that you're going to have a great show, which is on Super Bowl Sunday We're on night. Super Bowl Sunday, yeah. That is game. so exciting. Yeah. Um, That's what America's waiting for. We're going <laughs> to No, it is. Trust me, you're going to have a lot of eyeballs. Yeah, a yeah. lot of eyeballs that night. Getting through to us. And the other, um, you know, a lot of... <laughs> um, all the big CBS stars, you know... Every angle of CBS is going to be down there, you know, from Showtime stars to CBS Sports, CBS News. Les going, Les has got to be going, right? Oh, yeah, my husband's going. Yeah, yeah. He goes every year, even if it's not on CBS. Well, because he likes sports. He's a sports fan. Yes. Yeah. Is he playing golf again? Yeah, I want to I go and play golf. He said he hadn't been Invite play. him. Yeah. Well, yeah you want to go play golf with Les? Done. <laughs> Consider it done. Yeah, yeah, no, because he's good, right? Do you ever play golf? He's actually, he'll say he's not that good. That's and, what good golfers say. No, though. he's, you know, um, 
he's probably a little bit better than average, but he has such a competitive drive that that makes him better. He could be injured, but he'll get out there on the course and his competitiveness will make him do well. well. See, I'm the opposite of that. I'm like, I don't care if you beat me at golf. It was like, oh, you won at golf? Whoa. <laughs> well, you must be good. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. No, I'm not. I only started playing when I was 50. I was 56 months ago and I thought, I better learn to play golf. Because I'm Scottish, yeah, you don't know if you noticed. And uh, <laughs> they play golf all the time there. I've have you ever it. tried it? I have tried it. What do you think? I'm not very good. I'm very bad at driving the ball. But when it comes to putting, yeah. you know, that's very, you know, short distance. I can concentrate. That I'm not bad at. Well, that's what it's all about. Driving, you can learn. Putting is something you can learn too so there you are yeah. <laughs> no i can't do quite with the speed and actually hitting the ball when you're coming up you know well that's going to get in your way you have to hit the ball yeah. it's uh, oh. it's almost essential so were you a natural when you started uh, not bad you know i can hit the ball it doesn't go in the direction i want it to go but it's early days it never does no i know but it's all right i'm kind of into it now i'm going to get more into it as i get older i think well, that's a smart thing to do yeah, because yeah, yeah. As, as you want things. Do you, do you play a sport? Do you have a thing? I do a lot of yoga. Mm -hmm. And that's. <laughs> hot yoga? No, I don't like Only that. Only when hot you're yoga. doing it. <laughs> no, I do not like that hot yoga. You go into the room and it's already. It just has that smell. Yeah, I smell of people doing yoga. It's, it's really sweaty. It's a, it's a hot box and you do the same. It's a what? It's a hot box. Oh, right, okay. It's a hot box. I don't, no, that's not for me. I tried it twice. <laughs> when you're thinking of something very naughty. Get your hey, you're the one that said it. I never said a damn thing. I, I'm just listening to you respectfully when you're talking about your hot yoga. Excuse hey, me. Hey, hey, what? <laughs> Forget about golf with my husband. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, I'll let him win. He'll win anyway. I'll just pretend I let him win. <laughs> no. All right, we got to take a break anyway. Let's do it. All right, then. We'll be right back with Julie Chen. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Julie Chen, who's going to New Orleans. Do you follow uh, the NFL? Do you know anything about football? A little bit, a little bit, you know, because my husband watches it every Sunday. And, right. like, I always, I still say this, even though we're eight years into the marriage, um, I always, on Sundays, I like to be in the same room as him. So, you know, even if I'm not watching the game, I'll bring my work into the room because, you know, you want to be together, even yeah, if we're, it's not the adorable. together activity. Yeah. Do you let the kid so. in, too? Oh yeah, we're trying. My husband's trying to get our three-year-old son into, into, into football. Uh, everything. Oh yeah. Oh well, I every know. sport. I mean, I, I wonder about uh, I wonder about my boys playing football. I mean, it's a tough. Oh, game. not playing. Right, oh right. no, 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 watching it with him. Right, right. Oh, let's not get crazy. No, yeah, I'm yeah. Not I'm, into those injuries. I'm trying to get my boys into stuff like yeah, knitting. <laughs> well, well. Maybe some knitting would be good. <laughs> so you're just like my husband, very overprotective I'm father. I'm very overprotective, but the, the, the difficulty is that the kids have no regard for my feelings in that, in that area. <laughs> or in any area. Well, maybe you really. do the reverse psychology. And don't you feel like your kids are already, you know, what they're going to gravitate towards and like is already set Oh, they're, they're done. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they come out baked and ready. I mean, they, they, it's like <laughs> my, my two-year-old, right, this the other day, Liam the other day, he was, had a blue marker pen and he was writing on the kitchen cabinets. So my, Megan goes over and starts cleaning it off. She takes her eye off him for a minute, turns back, he's painted half of his side of his face and down his bare chest blue. He looks like Braveheart and he's two. <laughs> Just like, ah, and he's standing going, ah, so he's an artist. Yeah, I, he's an artist or a or a rebel warrior. <laughs> One uh, or the other. Yeah, I'm a little worried about him. Um, but, we know, could, he could win an Oscar then, maybe. Oh yeah, did you watch the Oscars yesterday when the uh, thing came out? Did you? Did you? Uh, oh 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 yeah, the nominations. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was very disappointed that Ben Affleck got snubbed for not getting a Best Director nomination. But isn't, isn't that always the way at the Oscars, though, that they're always snubbing somebody who's good? I think it was, it's a bunch of people who get together and go, who can we really piss, who did really well this year? Let's just embarrass them. I think that's exactly what that's, they that's did what around. They do, those yes, jerks. We're on to them. <laughs> no, but, it, but it's always exciting. You know, the Oscars? Yeah. It, I don't know. It's always exciting, the nominations. It's like, ooh, you know. I don't get into and you it run out and you have to go see all those movies that got nominated. You don't do that. Do you? 
Yeah, I actually try and watch them even before the nomination. Really? Yeah. So I could be like, yeah. I, I just watch Yo Gabba Gabba over and over oh, and over. I'm there yeah. with you. I yeah. am there with you. DJ Lance and Mudo, the big monster with the one eye. What the you hell is that go about? As DJ yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there. Oh, you Greg. started it. You started it with the yoga thing. You should go as DJ Lance for Halloween. I did. That, did you? Yeah, you last did Halloween, yeah. Did you? Well, I dressed up as DJ Lance. It freaked everybody out. So I gave, I made my nephew wear that costume, and I dressed up as one of the wild things from where the wild things are. Oh. That's and Liam was Max. Oh. Yeah, yeah it was That good. must have been adorable. It was very adorable. We got a lot of candy. Wow, you guys got... <laughs> You guys go all out. Oh, yeah. Now yeah. I feel terrible. I feel Well, like you didn't horrible. do Halloween? I did, but all I did was get, like, the little ears, and I got lazy. I didn't even do, like, the, you know, thing. You gotta do I that. Mean, That's cute when girls do that. Guys like that. <laughs> I don't know why. It's too, like, girls have little ears on. It's like, uh oh, someone's a naughty squirrel. <laughs> it's the one time. Let's go looking for nuts for winter. <laughs> What? It's, hey, that's what squirrels do, Julie! Yeah, I was going to say, that's the only time facial hair on a woman is probably attractive. Yeah. You know, when it's super long. Um, no, and then for my husband, you know, I just got him, like, a cowboy hat and, like, a suede vest, and he put it over. Oh, man, you don't have a photograph of that, do you, by any chance? Oh, I do. Oh, I'll email it to you. Yeah, yeah. Now I can show it on the show? Uh, well, let me, let me clear it to him. Probably not. But it was all about just, you Look, know, here's, our here's son's the deal. Costume. Here's the deal. You, I can either show the picture of Les wearing the cowboy outfit on the show, mm -hmm. or I make my own. I'll be sending you a copy <laughs> to show on the show. Do and that, everybody. Right back. Here's Julie is a very beautiful actress who stars in The Office. She's in a new film, Struck by Lightning, in select theatres and available nationwide on demand. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> Angela Kinsey, everybody. Angela Kinsey. Kinsey, you look great. You oh, actually, thanks. I mean, really do look great, if you don't mind me saying so. Well, thank you. Can I get my Tom Cruise stool? Yeah, yeah, hold on. We that's keep, what we he keep... calls it. I, that's what he has said every time I come here. Yeah, it's the Tom Cruise stool. It's not actually Tom Cruise's stool. It's, uh, <laughs> that would be a news story. No, it's a, a stool that we keep in case Tom Cruise hey, is over here. Hey, yeah, there. That. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just move my rusty trombone, which was, uh... <laughs> Under I've heard there. of that. I've heard of that. You have? I have. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's just one of those things that's yeah. lying under there. How are you? You look great. Everything's oh, fine then. Thanks. Eh? Thanks. Good. Yeah. The film looks good. It was a I lot like of fun. I like your sideways hair. It was so much hair. It was like, it, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah? And then you know what? They gave me, they gave me a fake butt. They did! Because the director thought it would be funny if I had a big tush. And let me tell you, I loved it. I loved wearing that thing. I bet you did, and I bet the yeah. gentleman loved it too. Do you have a, a low, what side, uh, let's move on from what? your butt. They, okay. uh, how do you wear a fake butt? They take a butt and they put it in some underwear, some giant granny panties. It's not so hot underneath it all. No. But on the outside, <laughs> That would be a surprise, though, if you were in an intimate moment with someone and they yeah. just robed and, and you were like, part of their butt uh, came up. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But I liked it. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> what have you been up to then? The office finished? No! Oh, no, right. I go back to work. We go until March. All right. But um, okay. I've been in New York quite a bit, so doing some stuff. And I was just. You mean doing some stuff? Selling crack? What the hell? <laughs> No, I'm I... doing some stuff I don't want to talk about. It. I was doing some stuff. <laughs> I'm like, the thing. All right, I got a thing with a guy. Hey. Um, no, I helped Carson Daly uh, with the ball drop. You know, the big that was. Oh crazy yes, of course. At New, New Year's, Year's. well yeah. done. Congratulations. Yeah. How was the ball drop? Uh, it, well, it's a lot smaller. The ball. <laughs> I'm just telling you, if you go, I was like, that's it. But um, all the people there were so amazing. They were from everywhere. They were like Aussies going crazy. What is it with Aussies? They're like, Aussie, 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 oi, 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 like nonstop. Yeah. They're all, they always come here as well. They come yeah. past the show and they're all like, wow, we're watching you, Ferguson. And then off they go again. <laughs> yeah. well, what I loved 
is that they chant. At first, I was really into their chant. They were like, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. And I was like, Oi, 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 Oi. And yeah. then, like, three hours later, I'm like, Ozzy, oh, oh, shut up. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. But my friend had never been to New York. And so I was like, we got to go see. Your friend had never been to New York? <laughs> never been to New York. I and see. And so it was late at night, and he wanted to see, like, and I'm only in town. I'm there and out. So I was like, oh, he wanted to see where 30 Rockefeller was, where the ice skating rink and the gold man statue. And so we. That's what everyone wants to see in New York. <laughs> Screw the Empire State Building and the yeah. Statue of Liberty. Uh, Who cares really? about that? Where's the gold yeah, man? Yeah. The, yeah. Losers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like one in the morning. We might have had a cocktail. I'm mm -mm. not going to lie. Okay. And then um, <laughs> there was a big barricade around it. They were cutting the Christmas tree down. It oh. was like so sad. And there's oh, the tree. And I, I decided to move the barricade. He wanted to see it. And he was like, oh, we can't. And I'm like, no, we can't. So I moved the barricade. You mustn't move the barricade in New York. That's no. bad. And then we squeezed through. And I'm like, hurry, hurry. And I'm like, just run. Stand there. And so he wants to pose. He's like. And then this guy comes running around and goes, hey, get the out of here. I, I censored myself, dude. I know, it was great. I was like, I thought for a second they'd worked out a system to actually do it as people were talking. No, but as I said it, I was like, oh, it's going to say crikey or something, right? And do the flag. I, I don't know. I, I, it could be anything, probably, because yeah. you'd mentioned Australians. Right. Yeah. yeah. So this huge guy is running after us, and we're like tipsy and laughing. I'm like, run! Like running and we tried to get out of the barricade. It was, it was kind of sad. I'm a grown up. <laughs> and that's that's what I was doing. What happened I'm, I'm after that? Did you guys go back to uh, back to your hotel then after that? No, we went to a pub. Oh yeah, what'd you do? <laughs> because you... we needed to be more stupid. <laughs> you went to a pub in New York late yeah, at night. I, I was like, well, risky. Irish pub. You got to find one. Really, what one? Oh, you know oh, to tell me? Oh, something. Yep. A mouth. I can't. Murphy's yeah. on Second Avenue. Is that a good one? That's the one you want to go to. All right. Yeah, Murphy's on Second Avenue. Get the Guinness there. Or actually, the Murphy's. The Murphy's? That's a drink? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't. Is it Murphy's or something? Else? I can't. It's so long since I've been drinking. I know. I'm blacking out just naturally. Oh, now. Lord. Yeah. I know. Well, yeah, no. But so, and then I was thinking, like, you know, the, I worked at 30 Rockefeller Center because I was an intern on Conan. And now I'm being like chased. Who? By the Who were you an intern on? Oh! No, no, that's. That guy, I've, been on, I've been on Conan. I love yeah, Conan. He's a nice guy. He's got lovely pointy hair. And tall. Very You're tall. You're tall and you have pointy hair. Yeah, but I don't, I'm not tall and as pointy as Conan. And he smells lovely. Does he? Yeah. I'll check it out. Yeah, I know. The next time you're near Conan, have a sniff. I think it's a kind of lavender or sagebrush thing. It's, really? Oh, it's masculine but powerful. <laughs> I'm a little weirded out. <laughs> like, what? I watched you, I watched you talking to, what's that cute guy, Bradley Cooper? Oh, really? You watched that because you, you wanted were, to see me or yeah. Bradley Cooper? Um, He's cute. You, no, he is pretty cute. He, you were really flirty with him. He's Bradley Cooper. What I do you know. want me to do? I was like, maybe maybe that's what happens when you're around him. I'm an idiot around most people, so really? I'm sure. Nah, come yeah. on. You can handle it. You get the big time show business life going on. You invade New York and move barricades and take your tipsy friend to... See oh, the things? things? Yeah. No, I no, I always work. I saw Cindy Lauper when I was in New York. I love Cindy Lauper. I do too. Yeah. Because I mean, we're like ch children of the eighties, maybe? I don't know. I'm children of the I was born <laughs> in sixty two. Yeah. <laughs> but I How dare you laugh? <laughs> and she had pink hair and I saw her and I was like, Hi, I love you so much. And she literally was like, Ah, oh, okay. And Well you and may have frightened her a little bit. I did. I was like, can I please get my photo with you? This was, by the way, just like two days ago. I was like, can I, can I get my photo with you? And she was like, I'm here, you're here, why not? I, I don't know why, I don't know what this impression is. No, like. I think it's pretty good. That's, I love her. I think Cindy Lauper is an American treasure. Have you seen that thing on YouTube where she's singing at a county fair? No. She sings at a county fair and she goes, ah, like that. And a seagull does a poop in her mouth. <laughs> and, but no. that's not the thing. No. She keeps going. Oh my she God. She keeps going. That's Come on. Hardcore. Take that, Al Qaeda. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, quick pop quiz. If a seagull pooped in your mouth, would you keep singing? Um, I I don't think I would be able to swallow that. I'd have to spit it out. I'm just saying. You listen. I think we all got the information re that we required from that question. If it pooped in your mouth, what would you do? Seagull, I'd kill Crikey! Crikey! 
You bad, you don't poop in my mouth, you feathery <laughs> bastard. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> People are like writing in. I cannot believe Kai Clark is no, here. All I would never kill a seagull. They're our friends. They're lovely. They carry me to diseases. The what? Diseases? <laughs> what diseases can you get from a seagull? Whenever I see a seagull, there's always. If you go to like the pier at Santa Monica, there's always one seagull that's like gimpy and is like, huh, like can't really walk and like. Yeah, like but has that... an eye that's like that. Yeah, but that's the seagull that's got the information. That is. That's the seagull like. Here. Yeah. I got some information yeah. for you. And like every Disney movie is like, guess what? This guy on the corner, he can take you out. I know. Look at my eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy that chased me in New York City. <laughs> Wait, he wasn't even a cop? No, he was just a mean seagull. No, he was. <laughs> he was like security, but he, he looked scary. Yeah, well. There you go. All right. Um, we're out of time. You fancy a piece of fruit, coconut, rusty trombone? All right. <clears throat> if I have the coconut, can I see if I can hit something with it? Like, can I aim? Like, how much does Jeff cost? A lot. You can't. No, no, don't, don't go there. No, no, no. You don't, you don't want to be throwing coconuts at Jeff. I can't aim it at anything? Uh, yeah, you can. Just not at Jeff. Uh, okay. Let's what see. can I aim it at? You can throw it out the window and see where it goes. Okay. Uh, you see those buildings over there? You want me to try to hit one? Well, they're about a mile off, but I think you could probably try it. Okay. All right. How, uh, like, if you break anything, you've got to pay for it. How much? Oh, really? Nah. What's back? Nah, okay. you're all right. All right. Not? All right, then. You want a coconut? All right. I want a coconut. All right. And where are you going to throw it? I'm going to try to, let's see. Should I try to get on the right side of the window? Yeah, okay. On that right part? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Ready? Well, wait. wait. Don't we have wait. some music or something? I don't know. Where's the music here? There we go. All right. All right. <laughs> If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit llstickets.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? <laughs> we don't have time for any talking. The show has run over already. Did you know that? Oh, dear. Yeah. Crash clothes, that's what they said. Get out of here fast, they said. And you took it from them? You're gonna do that, Craig? What's it look like, Jeff? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. I, you know, I want to help as much as I can. I mean, we've got to get this show wrapped up so they can get on with uh, the continuing entertainment on the great CBS network. <laughs> <laughs>